Hey, everybody, we're back. Yes, we are. <laughs> Amnesiacs. <laughs> yes, with another episode of Axiom Amnesia Trivia for the Culture. Yes, we're back. Movies. Can you name that movie is the question. Yep. And then again, it is Ladies Against the Gents. And I'm pretty sure I can name I can name it all. Sure you can. I have one that's going to be really hard for you, so I'll use my oh, insider I have knowledge. All hard ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I hope that you had a little bit of mercy. I made sure it has okay. some good clues in there to let you know what it was. So. All right. Well, I'll talk it through and hopefully I'll get them all right. Yep. Well, I guess we better get started. Yep. So for those of you who haven't played with us before, the way it goes is we put an image on the screen and then we try to guess for one point what that movie is by just looking at the yeah. image from the movie. And if you have ideas for a scoring system, let us know. Right. <laughs> and right now, while we're at it, go ahead and subscribe right now so you won't miss the next episode of these yeah. trivia questions. And play along in the comments. And share with your friends once you're done playing. All right. So let's get started. First one is going to be for you. I so let's it. see if you know what this movie is. Oh, that's uh okay. I'm gonna give the people some time because this is of course an easy one. That's Omar Epps, right? Is his name on yes. the left? And then you have Sanaya Lathan, and they both play basketball. One of them was number twenty two, and they why were do you in know love, that? And it's love and basketball because it's on his <laughs> chain right there. Can't you oh, see? one of them is number twenty two. I'm like, how do you know he's number twenty two? Yeah. Okay, you suck for knowing that. But see, I had to give you something to make it easy, so that you could feel okay about moving oh, forward yeah. but yeah it's love and basketball oh, yeah the ones i have they are not that easy well what i would like to say is this movie was if you have never seen this movie love and basketball was made in 2000 um and the characters are quincy and monica and like you mentioned they're played by omar epson sanaa lathan and so basically it's a story of how they're both driven um by basketball and their love for one another and you know it's one of those coming of age stories where you kind of got your first love then you go to college and other things happen and life yeah. happens and stuff like that so it's a love story but then it's also kind of like a sports competition story oh too. yeah pretty good stuff right there yeah it this used to be like one of my favorite movies i could watch it over and over again i could probably still yeah. watch it maybe See, we now, should watch it tonight in a last <laughs> episode i talked about how I have all these movies in rotation, but this isn't one of them. I haven't seen this. Oh, I need forever. to bring this movie back then because this is one of my favorites. This is an oldie but goodie. Um, so, yeah. And then there are other people who are in this movie who, um, you know, like Alfre Woodard and uh, yeah. Dennis Haysbert, the guy from the Allstate commercials and who played the president on 24, right? Um, Dennis oh, Haysbert. Yeah, yeah. The Allstate guy. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then there's also Debbie Morgan. I don't know who um, that is. Debbie Morgan, she, well, I, the oldest thing I remember her from is All My Children way back in the day when I was a kid. Um, she used to yeah. be on there. So. Yeah. Um, anyway, but that's Love and Basketball, a bunch of famous people who are in that movie. Yeah. So, so I get a point. That was an easy one, though. Yeah, Thank you, you for that easy one because <laughs> I'm taking no mercy. Or is it half no mercy? You'll have no mercy, but we'll see. Yeah, so. Oh, man. You, you're you probably going to get this one, though. I made it easy for you. Well, let's hope. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So this one is kind of easy. Um, So on the left, we have Whoopi Goldberg. And on the right, we have Angela Bassett. And if you know anything about no <laughs> 90s movies, this was a common one. It was based on the book by Terry McMillan of the same name called How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, <laughs> 1998. Yep. So uh, what's the storyline behind this thing? You got a older, quote, older woman uh -huh. who uh, so successful in her career. And of course, that's all boring because you've been doing all that with your life. And then you go off to an island and you get a nice little youngster. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Tay Diggs. Yeah, Tay Diggs. This really was the first young. movie he was in. I think. Oh, it is. Right. Because yeah. he got his start on Broadway and Rent singing, you know, musicals and stuff. But this was the first movie he was in and he was a newcomer. Nobody knew who he was. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. That's really crazy. Yep. Um, you know, I don't know. Is this a movie you would recommend? Like, do, what do you think of this movie? I think it has kind of everything that one of the, it's a chick flick, you know? Yeah. So 
it, it has everything that chick flicks should have, you know, drama, set happiness, sadness, you know, love. And love making, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gives a little bit of that too. And a lot of Hot, Tay Diggs running relations. around with no shirt on. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's Angela Bassett, Whoopi Goldberg, and Regina King was in here. Oh, yeah, because she played her to sister. IMDb. She played um, Stella, uh, her sister. Yeah. Angela Bassett's character yep. sister. She was a, a, a postal worker. Hmm. I don't know. Ask me how I know all this. But anyway, yeah. So, I guess it's one to one. Um, ladies and gents i guess so and now it's time for your next question so let's see if you know what movie that this is oh so now this is okay i thought i knew but i don't know so you got keenan ivory waynes in there right mm -hmm. and there are those two of those crazy spoof movies the one was it jada pinkett this isn't it this is the one with Chris Rock and all of them. And one of my favorite songs by Curtis Mayfield, Fly Guy. So I believe it's called I'm Going to Get You Sucker. Okay, so you're right. So what? But this <laughs> movie is absolutely iconic because it actually came out in 1988. And you were right. Keenan Ivory Waynes. It was actually his, um, it, I think it was his uh, directorial debut and the po the whole movie is basically a satire of black ex black exploitation movies from the 1970s. Yeah. So you know it's kind of got a plot in there, but the 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 most funny thing is just yeah. the different scenes and all of these different characters. And he I started have to, their whole Wayans genre of he did black and parody. If for some reason you're a really young millennial and you don't know who Keenan Ivory Wayans is. He is <laughs> his brother, Damon Wayans, like the Wayans family. You might know, uh, Sh not Sean. What's the other Marlin. one? Marlon. Marlon Wayans Marlin. is, is of that older generation. Yeah. The Maybe youngest one Damon. you might know. Um, you probably know. wouldn't even know Damon because he's around the same age as Keenan Ivory Wayans. Was. Yeah. But. So, really funny movie. It's hilarious. It is hilarious. But guess, do you happen to know what you think might be like my favorite character or my favorite scene from that movie? The I favorite just scene that. is when. I think it was it the McKee lady. Was she the one in here? Lynette McKee. Oh, I was don't remember her? if no, that well, was her. A light skin lady. Uh huh. <laughs> Where uh, she takes off all her clothes and everything. Oh, well, that's um, my favorite scene. So it would be your favorite scene, right? No. Is that what? Anne Marie? What is her name? Anne Marie Johnson or Anne? Okay, so she used to be the lady you're talking about. And gosh, I wish I had a picture. She used to be in the Robert Townsend specials is oh. where I saw her from. And she played on some sitcom where she was the wife on the sitcom, yeah. um, a tall, thin, lighter skinned lady. Uh -huh. But that was not my favorite so what's scene. what's your favorite scene? My favorite scene <laughs> is, when the pimp, is when the pimp gets exactly. out of jail and then he's got this crazy outfit on, but he's been in jail yeah. for like 20 years. So he gets out of jail and what's on place? Oh, now you asking guy me. guy by Curtis Mayfield. Okay, so you know that song. Oh, yeah, and I know this scene. Uh-huh. Um, they start making fun of him. It's terrible. <laughs> that was some 1970s bullying. Well, 80s. <laughs> right, but see, I the thing the is, he was bullying. dressed terribly, but then when he came out, you know, he's Ooh, not he dressed he like the fly. times anymore. So, so he, he had the confidence of his time because yep. he was so fly back in the day. But, you know, he's been locked up for a long time. So he comes out. And then the thing that kills me, you know, they do a pan down of his clothes. And all I'll say is that the goldfish in the shoes oh. is just when I just fell out when I saw this for the first time. So yeah. that <laughs> was my favorite scene in the movie. But if you haven't seen I'm Going to Get You Sucker, go find it. Yep. You and, need to see it. Right. And we and by the way, if I say this each time, but we put the links to the movies in the description so you can find them on amazon or wherever um you want to find them yep so i guess you have to guess now right it's my turn i hope this oh, one isn't going to be too this hard this one is going to be easy because i'm sure you saw this and it has um you know I, I, a lot of people out there in the comments may not be able to get it but it's uh you have it, faith in me yeah <laughs> we'll see that's what i'll say Okay, now let's look at the clues here. I already know what it is now because, I, but at first when I saw it, I didn't. So <laughs> this- I knew I shouldn't have put that clue. It, it's the tape. It's the tape that gives the clue, DJ Demo. Now, if you watch th this movie, which actually had a song from the soundtrack that was nominated for an Oscar, and the song was, 
it's it's hard out here for a, a pimp, right? Yes. Am I right about that? Movie starting starring Terrence Howard, and the name of the movie is is. You're going to laugh because I don't know why it's slipping my mind. Yes. But wait, I get more time. I get more time. (laughs) Because I've seen this movie a gazillion times. His name is DJ. um, And he, you know, uh, gosh, why is it? Why is this movie just the name of it slipping my (laughs) mind? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe this. I'm so embarrassed. Um, I mean, I, I know that that is. Gosh. What is the name of this movie? Hustle and Flow. I got it. Hustle and Flow. So it wasn't on the tip of my tongue, but I figured it out. Um, and who's this in the picture? <laughs> That's ludicrous in the picture. <laughs> Laying so down with the tape. if you don't know, this movie came out in 2005. It's one of my all-time favorites. Um, so it's about another pimp. Why do I always pick pimp movies? I don't know why you pick picking Something these is pimp wrong. movies. But it's a really good one. It's not your average glamorous pimp like the one in the last clip or um, mm-hmm. the Mac it's a guy who's going through a midlife crisis, right? right? And then he starts rapping and making music and stuff. And it has a whole bunch of stars in this movie. Yeah. Believe yeah. it or not. Taraji P. Henson. Yes. Terrence Howard, Anthony Anderson, mm-hmm. uh, Paula Jai Parker. Yeah. Isaac Hayes. Yeah. Ludacris. Juicy J. Yeah. Uh, Elise Neal. Oh, yeah. Elise Neal. Taryn Manning and DJ Qual. Yeah, that's Taryn Manning in the in the picture you're looking yeah, at there. The weird looking guy is in there. A- too. And she popped up later on what was that? Uh the the prison mo- the oh, prison TV show. Uh, uh Orange is the New Black. Yeah, that one. Um, so she she has a character on there. So <laughs> this movie, I liked it a lot, but I have to admit, it I wasn't expecting Taraji Henson to sing that song like that. And for some reason, Every time uh, that song comes on, I just want to sing her part. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know how she's like, you yeah. know, it's hot you out know, here. <laughs> I gave you that clue in there. I know and, you did. You know, at first, remember uh, what happened before that? It, I was just going to show the toilet. <laughs> no, see, that would have been wrong. That would have been how I'm like, how am I supposed to? Because uh, even though I knew that that was ludicrous, it's like he doesn't he doesn't look 100 percent ludicrous ish. Yeah. In that picture, that would have been really that would have been mean if you had done that. So, yeah. So, you know, we're not doing like blurs and stuff like that because I would have blurred out the name on oh, the tape. That would have been bogus. Would have been really hard for folks out there. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you got that one, because that was a little bit hard, though. Um, but anyway. The score is now even still two to two. Yeah. This is the one that you're not going to get. I saved my hardest one for last. This is the last one? Yeah, we're doing three. This is the last one. So everybody come along for the ride. Let's see if you know this movie. Uh, (laughs) This is hard. So it reminds me of the one with Holly Berry. And I know that's Gugu Mbatha-Raw. Yes, <laughs> And this it's movie Gugu. came out not that long ago. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking of, it sounds like Beloved. It sounds like Bella. Um, I don't know if it's actually called Bella, but I'm just going to guess Bella. So how would you spell Bella? <laughs> what? I'm just curious. B-E-L-L-A. Okay. So people. Am I wrong? You just might be wrong the movie is actually oh. called bell <laughs> you were really close you can get a half a point for that no, <laughs> but that this was, is not even funny this i knew he would know goo goo i knew because people he loves some goo goo okay he's like oh that's goo goo she's in all these movies and she's one of these people who looks really different to me because they always do something different with her hair or style her a little bit different. And in every movie, you're like, wait a minute, is that Goo Goo? OK, yeah, yeah that's Goo Goo. And you, then she's like in a whole bunch of movies. I'm like, how do you get in all of these movies? That's true. And you probably may if you saw Beyond the Lights with Parker, Nate Parker, Nate Parker. Um, she was in that movie where she plays like a singer or something and he's the bodyguard or whatever. Um, so you may have seen that because that wasn't that many years ago that that movie came out. But yeah. So I think what you did there was a movie that's not that popular. Okay. Right. Do you it, agree? It, it, it may not. Bell may not yeah. have been that popular of a movie, but I will say that um, it's significant. Yeah, I feel that's great. Cool. Right? Because it yeah, was, it was that's just, just my point. 
You want some points back? No, because I have one for you. Oh, you got one for me. Okay. So let me just say, though, for the people who haven't seen Belle, it did come out in 2013. And it's the story of Dido Elizabeth Bell. And she's a mixed race child of a Navy officer. And the story, as you can probably tell by the um, costumes, was set in the 18th century England. But the significance here is that she is hoping to have some influence with her uncle, who is presiding over a case that becomes crucial to the abolition of slavery in England. So, so what year was it? Um, I don't know the exact year, but it's the 18th century. Sometime. No, not that. The year the movie came out. Oh, 2013. Oh, OK. Yeah. So it wasn't that long ago. And I, th- I mean, you know, for these types of movies, it, it was pretty good um, because, you know, it not only talks about the case itself, you know, the backdrop, backdrop and backstory is that here she is a mixed race aristocrat who, you know, is beautiful and everything, but she's not white. Yeah. So, you know, movie. she's <laughs> she's she she gets the side eye from a lot of the other aristocrat, especially women. So, yep. yeah, check that so, movie out, too. I didn't get that one. So this is going to be tough. It's come down to the wire. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, my goodness. You know it. Oh, okay, stop playing so around. let me let me tell you what you I pick this one. I don't I don't know. OK. I can't tell you who these characters are. I remember this story. But it's not buffed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i can tell you the story this the, this guy is dating this chick who's dating another guy you know what i'm gonna just have to go ahead people i'm sorry ladies we almost had the win i don't know the name of this movie and i'm not going to be able to figure it out because it's not even in my brain like are i just you don't know serious oh okay, I, I know that this guy <laughs> i don't know why you're putting your hands up in the air you're not winning it's gonna be a tie <laughs> it's gonna be a tie I, I i don't know so what is this this is called Plug Love. Plug Love. Oh, oh so man. now if you don't know, the reason I picked this, I thought you would get it because of this character. Uh, this is, I presume to be a rapper named Murder Payne. So here's the star. And the woman, I believe, is Jessica Ryan. And they're um, a bunch of people from Detroit are making these movies. And Plug Love, everyone who watches it just believes it's the one of the greatest movies that they've seen. It's like really good unbelievably good right you go into it you won't expect it because you never heard of these people Mm -hmm. and it's not a big studio putting this out this is independent film and it's on amazon too well and let me say this about amazon films and movies you know somehow we have found like the black section where we could find and and there are so many there are a lot of people who have made movies that you have never heard of that aren't going to be on netflix that aren't going to show in the theaters that are not bad movies now some of them are not that great but still you know, we just enjoy watching us make our movies and oh, yeah. play out our, you know, plot lines that we want to see play out. And it's this movie was pretty good. And there's actually there. a Plug Love yeah. 2, isn't there? Um, I think there is no, a second. I, think, I, I thought we've seen Plug no. Love 2 or maybe. OK, See what it is, is, you know, you get this instant cult classic right in the culture for mm-hmm. the culture. And then people start faking and lying that these other things are coming out right right so then they put stuff on youtube and stuff like oh we have plug love too and stuff oh but you know everyone out there you just need to go watch this this pretty good movie and if you have and you did explain it right yeah where, if you have amazon prime you can watch this is included with it for oh, yeah. free. so we'll put the link to that so you can watch it yep so we have a tie man i was hoping to be, i just knew bell was gonna be the one that <laughs> cinched the the win for us oh yeah so um i'll just give you a, a teaser there's going to be one in the next episode that will be just not impossible but she won't get it why are these i'm people, gonna just put that out there why are you making things that are going to be impossible it's not just for me i represent the ladies but oh. you know what all of the ladies are going to be angry if you start but see, doing what's d- d- just making it so impossible and yeah, you're already no, saying it's that. not impossible <laughs> it's sort of like the uh hustle and flow one okay. it'll have something in there that uh if you really know the movie you would get mm-hmm. it i'm so, pretty good at the clues yeah have faith in me folks i'm uh, ladies i'll i'll get the win out for us don't worry but until next time we end this time with a tie we both lost one point and it's two to two we yeah. still we really need to have a tiebreaker but i have a feeling that i might lose yeah those so in the comments let us know um how could how could we um break ties 
Yeah. You know, and then maybe that'd be part of the scoring, right? Five points or one point, and then the really hard one at the end is two or three points. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. like the Jeopardy question or something. Who knows? But anyway, be but sure to share good, this. Though. Stump your friends with these questions because... I don't think your friends are going to be able to know it. You might have probably missed a question or two in this one, too. Yeah. And and we really enjoyed how with the first episode, people were commenting as they watched it. So, you know, they were giving their answer and posting it in the comments and stuff like that and saying how many they missed. And I hope the reason that you're doing that is not just to spoil it for everyone else who wants to watch (laughs) (laughs) it. No, no, I don't think they would. I I, I just think it's just fun to feel kind of like you're playing along with us and everything else so mm-hmm. that's that that's yeah. the point you know we talk about a lot of different things here but this is one of the light and airy things that celebrates the culture and you know may expose you to a movie you had never seen yeah, before so make sure you do what you do and holler at us later that's right subscribe share and hit the bell when you subscribe so you can know about the next time we have a trivia show holla bye bye